What is going on everybody, Mattitude22 here today bringing you guys another figure review. So today we are looking at the Titans Return Grax and, well, Skull Smasher figure. Grax is a Titan Master. So looking really quick at the packaging, nice shot of the figure, the Titan Master going down on the back, pretty cool. Of course, Generations, this is Transformers there, Titans Return. And on the back, you can see the figure's transformation. He looks pretty cool for sure. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Beast Wars. Like, this is not a fig character I'm super familiar with, but he reminds me of Beast Wars. So that's pretty cool. Brief little bio of the figure there. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause this video now. And then on here, you can see that your Titan Masters are compatible with the Lux, the Voyager, and the Leader leader class. Is, is that the Lux, Voyager, Leader? Is it next Leader? Yeah. And here you can see the other figures. Already reviewed this guy, and these two guys are coming up. And on the bottom, it just has the official authentic Transformers symbol or logo. What are you going to call that? I know it's the Transformers logo, but uh, a seal, like the official authentic Transformers seal. Some warnings and stuff. All right, so with that stuff out of the way, I am going to take a quick... Whoa! You got to breeze all of a sudden, guys. I'm going to take a quick break. I will get, to get this guy out of the package, and I will catch you guys on the other side. All right, guys, so looking at Skull Smasher out of the package, he definitely looks nice. I, I think he looks nice. Uh, zoom out a little bit. Definitely love the contrasting colors. I love the darker green kind of playing off the more kind of light red. It's almost like a pinkish red. Looks very cool. Uh, look. Okay, a couple issues with this guy. For starters, the hollow legs. He doesn't stand super well. I, I find, I find uh, with the hollow legs, they don't support him enough. Like you can see, he just keeps he just keeps tipping over. I tried moving his legs around a bit, but he he just keeps tipping over. The feet, I don't think, are long enough. They definitely don't hold them up, and the hollow legs don't help. Maybe maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just bad QC on mine, but that is what I found. Other thing I found annoying with the hands. Again, hollow here, so the hands just keep... Every time I try to get him in a good pose, his hands always just end up sliding back that way. Not so bad on this side, but even on this side, you can see, like, they they don't lock in enough. They don't lock enough. So you can see. So, dis disappointing. I mean, again, like I said, that could just be, that could just be mine. Maybe yours doesn't have these issues, but they're annoying for mine. Head sculpt is pretty good. I like the head sculpt for sure. I like the face sculpt and... Of course, that is your little Titan Master. We'll take a look at that guy after. But overall, not a lot going on. I, I don't know if uh, this was intended, but I just kind of pegged the head. Like, this back piece was empty. I just kind of pegged the head back in there. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. But I just, I just think it looks good tucked in there. But that's just me. So looking at this guy's articulation... Obviously, your head moves side to side, not no up and down. You get a little wiggle, but that's about it. The arms are do move all the way around, so you get a full rotation there. Don't really move out super far or in terribly far, but they uh, you do get a decent hinge, and of course, there is a single jointed elbow. Wrists, no articulation. Like, again, they just keep popping back into place. Little claws are articulated. Not really articulated, but they are on a joint, so you can move those around however you see fit. And he 
does have a waist twist, single jointed knees, more like a double jointed knee, but feels more like a double jointed knee. And oh, you can see the other gun, the tail, the other gun, it looks all right. It looks all right. Hips move out this far, he kicks this far forward and this far back. Pretty cool. And of course the toes do, the feet, well, feet, toes, they do go inside, but not really an articulation point, but you can articulate them around. So pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this guy standing to go to our next segment. Um, there, we actually got him standing. All right, guys, so I'm going to take a quick minute. I will transform this guy for you, and I will see you guys then. Now, all right, guys, so, <clears throat> so let me get readjusted. So we are back. We now have Skull Smasher in its alt mode, in case you guys cannot notice. I did sustain an injury in the transformation of this figure, so uh, I do be careful with that, some sharp parts. But nonetheless, you can see right here we have our little headmaster, and he looks nice. And we have Skull Smasher in his alt mode. Uh, I can't remember. I think I feel like it's an alligator, because I think the alligator has the two teeth pointing up, and a crocodile doesn't. Do you guys remember that episode? Was it Magic School Bus? Oh, excuse me. I don't remember, but. Uh, Crocodile, alligator, whatever. Looks pretty cool, man. So you can see the tail just snaps on like that. And then you get the gun there. Makes a tip. Looks pretty nice. A couple uh, different options for your Titan Master. We'll get, we'll get to that later. Face sculpt is really sweet. Decepticon logo right there. Obviously his mouth opens and shuts. And yeah, he just looks pretty cool. Eh, looks pretty good on the bottom. Transformation is pretty fluent. Uh, it's not too difficult when you kind of figure it out. Uh, yeah. Articulation for this guy. The head kind of hinges side to side. Same with the feet. They hinge side to side as well. This one not as well as the other one. And you can kind of move the tail around oh. it does have a tendency to pop out so uh, where's our headmaster where do we put him so a couple different options on uh, what you can do with your headmaster so you see there is a little panel right there I'm just going to try to just let me get that Sorry guys, once it gets stuck inside, it's really hard to do. You have to use like a, like a, you have to use something. Use like a, like a spoon or something to pop it up. So there you go, you get the little panel right there. And you can just simply seat your head master right inside there. And there you go. So you got a nice little panel. He just he fits in nicely there inside Skull Smasher. He's nice and hidden, safe from his enemies, tucked away inside this armored crocodile or alligator, whichever one is which. So you can do that. Another fun option. You can. Stand him up. And if you see on the two front feet, there's two pegs. So you can just peg him right there on either side. And he just rides on his rides on his side like that. Pretty cool. 
Now, another cool option, if you unhook the tail, Sit your headmaster like so, just kind of, she just kind of sits in. Put your gun like that. And there you go, man. Now, oops, there you go. Now you have a little, you have a little turret. You get his hands sticking up. You can attach that to any one of your uh, Voyager class or leader class. Well, not, not the Voyager, uh, I guess it's the leader class that make the base. Well, I think it's Soundwave and Blur. Maybe they're the only two, but you can peg them on there and you have a little turret. Or, if you really just kind of want to have some fun, you can re-peg it on the tail. And there you go. So, you know, he's uh, he's running away, he's in a fight, he's trying to escape. You have him shooting the enemies from behind, so pretty cool. Like I said, you got a, you got a couple options. Uh, whatever you want to do, you you can. So all right, guys, that's pretty much his alt mode. Pretty cool. I'm gonna take a break. We will transform this guy back to robot mode, and I will give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so now we are back in robot mode, guys. My final thoughts on this figure. I don't, I like him, but I don't love him. Transformation is super fluent, super easy to do, which I do like, because, like, when it comes to transformers and transforming them, I'm kind of an amateur. That's why I don't do it on camera, because it takes me a long time to do it until I get the hang of it. This guy was pretty easy, though. I was able to actually uh, transform him pretty quick, uh, my, minus, minus the injury. So I do like that, like anybody can just pick him up and should be able to handle with him. But there's a lot of stuff I don't like. The hollow legs don't hold him up. Uh, I just don't think they ha they're they weighted enough to keep him standing. I mean, he's standing now, but 10 minutes, he'll be on the ground. I guarantee it. Colors are nice. Uh, the hands, the way the hands peg in, uh, it's just all so annoying. They keep kind of sly falling back in. So I want them to hold the gun straight and, you know, they keep going back in. So that is pretty annoying, but alt mode is really cool. Uh, lots of different options, like I said, for the, your Titan Master where you want to display him. You got a couple different options. So that's very cool. So mixed feelings on this guy. Uh, I don't know, because I, we, I know we have Croc 2. I haven't got around to reviewing him yet. So I don't know, he might be better. It's hard for me to say if you only want to get one. It's I can't say right now, uh, I can't say right now if this is the one you want or if it's Croc, but uh, I don't know. All in all guys, he's decent enough. I think you'll have a pretty good time with this figure and uh, transformation's fluent, alt mode's pretty nice. So for now, I'm gonna say get this guy and we'll see what happens when Croc comes out. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you again for watching my video. And thank you again for joining me on this ride. Thank you for all your support. It means so, so much to me. I, I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Because I am bringing you guys a new video every Monday through Friday. So make sure you don't miss those. Please like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the figure. Uh, tell me which mode you like better. Uh, if you have Croc... Let me know in the comments if you think Croc is better. I'm curious. I don't have that. I don't have that figure yet. Uh, he's coming in the mail, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, social media links will be in the description. Check those out. Check out the Sanctuary on Facebook. And that is it for me, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time with another figure review. And bye.